Hey guys, maybe you're on 20, back again with a more serious type video. Uh, this is not clickbait at all. Um, this isn't like satire. Um, this is real. What I'm about to say is real life events, my experiences, uh, disclaimer. Uh, I'm putting a disclaimer out there. Um, Billy Mitchell, um, if you even watch this video, because... From the conversations that we've had, um, you tell me you don't watch any videos that you're in. Um, you tell me all the time, um, you know, like you'll call me if you hear somebody made a video about you. You'll give me a call and you'll say, hey, did you see that video? What's it about? And like you claim you don't watch them. And um, you say your son watches them, but you do not. And we can track this as far back as when I first met you four years ago in uh, Indiana, when I did an interview, the first question I asked you was, um, have you ever watched the King of Kong? Like the documentary that you were in. And um, because you claim you don't watch anything um, that you're in. And the response, well, the response was this. I read on a line a few years ago in an interview, you said you never watched the King of Kong uh, movie before. Is this true? And have you still not seen it? Why? I mean, I, I like the movie. Have you never seen the movie before? What are you questioning me for? If I said I didn't see it, I didn't see it. Uh, okay, I, have you still not seen it? This is several years ago. No, the truth is, no, I haven't sat through it and seen it. Have I seen various scenes because they come on an, an email or, oh, gee, this was my favorite quote you ever said and somebody sends it to me? Um, yes, I have seen that, but I've never seen the movie. And I just, I don't have the desire within me to sit down and see it, number one. And number two is, it's not that movie. I haven't seen any of the movies I've been in. I don't watch the interviews. Um, I hope I do well with you because I don't need to see the interview. I live it. And actually these interviews are different because it would just be straightforward. When I see something that's created, that's edited, I always think that it could have, would have, should have done, done better. I'm kind of anal, I'm kind of into detail in case you hadn't noticed. And so the fact is I'm not the only one that's this strange. When I met Jim Carrey, he explained to me that he's never watched anything he's in. It's just not a desire I have. I don't have a reason for it. But the answer is correct. Now, with that being said, you have, you know, said on record several times that you do not watch anything you're in. Um, you related it to, like, Jim Carrey. Um, you threw Jim Carrey's name out there, um, I think, to make yourself sound more, like, like famous in a way. Um, and this is a really hard video for me to make because I, f I feel stupid um I, I really do but i i have to tell you guys what has happened the experiences that i've had and a, and a disclaimer again billy mitchell if you're watching this um you shouldn't be because you claim you don't watch anything you're in but if you're watching this uh these are my opinions on my real life events that i've had um my opinions this is a free country and i'm allowed to say what i want so just putting that out there. Um, Billy Mitchell. Um, I'm known as the guy who, you know, if you're watching my channel, uh, you, you know, you may know I'm, I'm, I'm either known as a guy who hates GameStop or the Billy Mitchell shill that people like to say. The guy who has been pretty much, you know, sticking up for Billy Mitchell through thick and thin um, since day one. That would be me. Um, I... Had a lot of respect for Billy Mitchell's, what he's accomplished, his achievements, his gameplay, um, his skill with the classic games, because I have a love and nostalgia for the classic games. So when the King of Kong came out, I watched it and I was like, wow, this, that's a great movie. Um, and you can't tell me it's not. It is a great movie. But with that being said, I'm like, man, that, that's really cool. And then when this whole Billy Mitchell drama started coming out with Twin Galaxies and they were trying to... Uh, say his records are, are, are no longer valid because of MAME and everything else and unofficial hardware, I started looking into it and I was confused to say the least. I'm like, so I started looking into it myself. And um, what really got me was Billy Mitchell started streaming on Twitch. And I'm like, well, he did it on Twitch. Like he, you know, there's no denying at this point, I know Billy Mitchell can achieve those scores. And I, I don't think anyone can disagree because he's done it already. He's, he's repeated it over and over again. The issue people are having is it being on unofficial hardware, the red joystick, etc., all that stuff. 
And I'm like, who cares? Like, that's so petty to me. But I guess in this lawsuit, it, it's going to matter. But the, the problem I'm having with Billy Mitchell, and I have not spoke to him about, I, he doesn't know I'm making this video, by the way. He, he has no clue that I'm making this video. Um, I have caught Billy lying to me in the past month um, a few times. I'll give you a small example. As you saw the clip, Billy Mitchell claims he doesn't watch anything he's in. But he'll call me and start talking about like Carl's videos or a video that I'll make in response to his. And it just happened in my, my girlfriend even pointed it out to me. Like I was sitting there and um, I had, uh, you know, she could hear, you know, when you're sitting close to somebody, you can hear them on the other phone. You can hear them on, you know, you can hear them. It's not on speakerphone, but if it's loud enough, you can kind of overhear the conversation. And my girlfriend overheard Billy start, you know, quoting my video like verbatim. Um, and I said, oh, did you watch my video that I uploaded today? No, I didn't watch it. Um, why? And then he starts like deflecting. And my girlfriend looks at me. He's like, he just quoted your video verbatim, like word for word. Why is he telling you he did not watch your video? And it's such a weird thing to lie about. Um, it's so petty and so strange and I chalked it up as like, well, that's just Billy being Billy. You know, Billy's got this cocky character. And he, for some reason, he doesn't want people to know that he's watching videos about himself, which is really strange to me. I don't know why he does this. But the more and more I started like taking an inventory on everything he has told me um, over the past uh, four years, things are really looking not good. Um, and I'm not even talking about him. Okay, screw him. He has his own problems. Me, I like he has slandered my name by telling me incorrect data. Like he told me, like again, he he has told me personally on the phone that those photos, like w they were a, a you know obtained by him and the lawyers. Like they grabbed those photos and released them to the public. Like that's what it was told to me. And now, you know, we see Carl's video and, and Carl shows actual video of Billy saying that he's never even seen the photos, which I, I don't like that. When I saw that made me feel sick. I called Billy immediately um, when I saw the video um, because I was like kind of upset. And um, he says, well, no, no. He's like, um, the lawyers released them. Not me. I never had him. The lawyers had him. Like, so he kind of changed his story. That's not what he told me originally, which really like, so if he's lying about petty things, like, you know, he didn't watch my video. He didn't watch Carl's video. When I know for a fact he did because he's repeating things verbatim. Why in the world? Like I, he's lying to me about that as well. So what else is he lying to me about? So I'm not going to take anything away from Billy. I know he's a gifted gamer. He's got skill. But there are things that he has lied to me about. So when it comes to this court case, um, I'm going to let the chips fall where they lay. Um, I will no longer um, be making any Billy Mitchell support videos. I, I just don't. I feel... I feel, I feel silly. I feel stupid. I feel really taking advantage of because the more I think about it, a friend will call you, you know, just to talk, Hey, how are you doing? What are you doing today? And the more I think about it, Billy Mitchell, the only time he has called me is if somebody uploads a video about him, he wants my perspective. Um, he'll only call me if, uh, he wants me to talk about something, maybe put it in a video. Heck, he even called me one time um, asking if I could make a video to defend Todd Rogers. And like, I told him no. Like, you know, I Todd Rogers even called me on the phone one time. And like, I, I talked to Todd Rogers and like, I no, I didn't feel comfortable at all um, defending Todd Rogers. I just don't. I don't know too much about it. But the, what I do know about it, it, it looks really bad for him too. So like, I'm not going to defend him. Um, but Billy Mitchell, the reason why I was such a big supporter is because I know he can do the scores. 
Like he's he's he has done it in front of me, so I know he's capable of doing the scores. Todd Rogers, he he has never been able to replicate it. <laughs> he, it was like a, a a one-time show pony, so he was never able to replicate it again. Um, and and if you examine the code of the game, it's impossible to get. You know, it's just I don't want to get into that. It's a rabbit hole. I don't want to go down. But yeah, so I didn't feel comfortable defending Todd Rogers. And um, now I no longer feel comfortable defending Billy Mitchell. And I know he's going to he's gonna hate me um, for saying this. And, you know, Billy, if you are watching this, which you should not be watching this because you claim you do not watch things you're in. But if you happen to watch this, you know, I, I can't defend you anymore, bro. I, I, I can't. I cannot defend you anymore, man. I can't do it. I, uh, like, it... Any anytime I talk about you, I get so much hatred thrown my way. And that's not why I'm even making this video. I mean, I'm taking like an inventory of my life and like the people who mean a lot to me in my life. Like like I went through like, you know, the last couple of years, I went through something really traumatic and like, you know, I had a lot you know who your friends are. When you go through a dark space, you know who your friends are. People reach out to you, people do that. And um, you know, Billy has really only reached out to me. Um to talk about either his court cases or it's all about Billy Mitchell. You know, it's really about Billy Mitchell. And the more and more I think about it, Billy Mitchell has really been using me since day one. As soon as Billy Mitchell saw that I was interviewing him and I was a content creator and I had somewhat of a following here on YouTube and I was a supporter of his, which is hard to find here on, on YouTube. It's not, it's not rocket science that, you know, People don't like Billy Mitchell and here I am. I like Billy Mitchell. I support him. I believe in him. And he's like, okay, I have to, I have to really, you know, befriend this man. So he's been really using me and my platform, um, since the beginning in my personal opinion. Cause like I said, when he calls me, it's only about like his court cases or if somebody uploads a video about him. He'll ask me, you know, questions. Matter of fact, the last time he called me, he was asking me about how much money does Carl Jobs make on his videos? And I was like, well, how am I to know? I can give you a rough estimate because I know how much money I've made when I get a million views. And then he's like, well, how much is that? I said, well, let's see here. Carl's been averaging over, you know, just over a million views when he talks about you. And that is probably a couple thousand dollars. And he was like, that's it? And I was like, yes, that's that's it. And he's like, well, how do you know? And I said, well, I have a video that, that got 2.1 million views. It's very rare for a channel of my size, but I have done it. So I know how much that paid me. And that paid me somewhere between, you know, just over $3,000. So since Carl, I'm sure he gets paid more on his impressions and his clicks. A 1 million view for him is probably at least a couple grand. And he didn't believe me. He was upset. He didn't, he didn't believe me. He's like, no, it's probably $30,000. And I'm like, it is not $30,000. I don't know where he got that number. Um, and then Carl uploaded a video showing the proof that it, it was like about what I said. It was like, you know, a couple grand, 3000, whatever. And then he's like, and you know, I told, I told Billy, he might be getting more because there's a sponsor in his videos usually, and they pay more. So that's separate. But as far as ad revenue, that's what he gets paid. And for some reason he, that wasn't good enough. Billy didn't believe me. He says, you know, he doesn't th he think for some reason, Billy's thinking this guy is getting $30,000 um, on an ad revenue, which is just not possible. And I tried to explain to him it's not possible, but he doesn't want to believe it. So that really rubbed me the wrong way. So that's just one thing that like kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And I was like, man, he's calling me just to ask me these questions. Um, you know, not like, Hey Sean, how you doing? You know, how, you know, how's the girlfriend you know, you know, how's your family? How you doing? You know, it just, it's really, it's really, he'll call and ask questions like that. Um, you know, he, you know, he'll take my YouTube knowledge and then when I tell him something he doesn't like, he gets, you know, it seems like he doesn't want to accept the answer, um, which is really, really confusing uh, to me. And the more and more I think about it, I've been used uh, from the beginning. I, I really have. Um, I, I really have. He actually, uh, the more I think about it, anytime he's called me, it was video related, uh, court case related, um, just all Billy Mitchell. That's that's what it all came down to was Billy Mitchell. He even tried to tell me like, oh, you like. He he told me like, why don't you try to copyright strike Carl's video and take it down? And I'm like, I don't have that power. What do you mean? 
he used you in his video. You're in his video. And I said, Billy, that's fair use. You're allowed to take a, a clip of someone and use it in a video and commentate over it if it's re relevant and use it. Um, and it's transformative. It's fair use. No, no, you're in the video. He didn't, you didn't give him permission. I said, that's not how that works. That is not how that works. Um, he was trying to get me to take Car Carl's video down. Um, clearly I did not because I, I know the copyright law. Um, it would have just embarrassed me if I tried to do something like that. One, I would never do that. I'm not about censoring people. I, you know, it, I, I feel everyone's entitled to their own opinion. You know, a lot of people don't agree with mine. And, you know, I don't agree with some other people's opinions. So I, I, you know, this is America, you know, we got free speech here. So you can't, you can't censor people, especially legality wise. It's, it was, it's fair use. So that rubbed me the wrong way. Um, he's a lot of things that has been said on the phone within the past few months has rubbed me the wrong way. And it's time for me to step away. It is time for Van Buren 20 to step away. I just, I'm done. I'm done.